Today we will talk about IPv6. IPv6 uh, which is a future technology and of uh, 128 bits as compared to IPv4 which is of 32 bits. Uh, first let me talk about IPv6 addressing. Types of IPv6 addresses are like uh, unique local addressing, uh, link local addresses, and global unicast addresses. Uh, first let me talk about uh, unique local addresses. Unique local addresses are like uh, uh, private range of IPv4 addresses. Uh, its its uh, range in IPv6 is uh, FC00 slash 7. Let me talk about link local addresses. Link local addresses very important addresses and unique on one link and uh, similar to IPv4 addresses, a PIPA range of IPv4 addresses. Uh, its range is FE80 slash 10. Uh, one more thing, reachability of uh, link local addresses is very important while you are running any of uh, the routing protocol. So that is very important. Next, uh, we talk about uh, Global unicast addresses, global unicast addresses, uh, somewhat similar to uh, the public range of IPv4 addresses. Its range in IPv6 is 2000 slash 3. Now let's talk about uh, some routing protocols uh, just like uh, ripping which is compatible with IPv6. Uh, remember we use reversion 2, reversion 1. Here we use a uh, ripping. We assign a name to any of the ripping process and then uh, the normal behavior as a rip does like summarization, default routing and all those stuff. One thing that is very important we need to assign here that particular ripping process on interface. Now let's talk about AIGRP version 6 uh, which is compatible with IPv6. Uh, actually uh, the thing is that uh, one strange thing that is in IPv6 that is EIGRP version 6 is that that you need to assign a no shutdown command under routing process rest are near about same one one uh, one more uh, dissimilarity which is like e in EIGRP which is compatible with IPv4 we can use leak map in order to send the special prefix with summarized one but here in IPv6 that is in EIGRP version 6 you cannot use leak map facility and that is not available so uh, that is different and no shutdown command I already told you that is very important apart from that one uh, more most important thing that is you need to assign a 32 bit router ID in, in EIGRP version 6 while you are running EIGRP version 6 on a router either it will automatically uh, pick up if any of the IPv4 address is configured or you need to assign it under the routing process of EIGRP version 6 with the command router ID and, and that is an IPv4 address so that's the strange that without IPv4 you cannot run IPv6 that is you can say that that is the most annoying. apart from that uh, let's talk about uh, OSPF version 3 which is compatible with IPv6 uh, OSPF version 2 is compatible with IPv4 uh, this concept is similar uh, to IPv4 concept uh, here also we assign the router ID the ABR the LSA's concepts all near about us in one thing while you are summarizing the uh, the prefixes on on asbr remember you we use summary address command in ipv4 but in ipv6 we use in ospf version 3 in ipv6 we use summary prefix command and uh, rest concepts are near about same like uh, authentication uh, you can use uh, like uh, uh, summarization summarization concept summarization on ABR summarization on ASBR authentication uh, different prefix filtering distribute list root modification uh, I mean packet modification with the root maps and uh, all 
near about similar to IPv4 configuration in OSP of version 3. Now let's talk about uh, MPBGP which is compatible with uh, IPv6. Uh, in, in, uh, in IPv6 what happens is you need to uh, use address family right you can configure IPv6 neighborship in BGP uh, under address family first you need to router BGP and the process uh, I mean the AS number of that particular router then address family IPv6 unicast and then then you need to assign the neighbor neighbor address which is the IPv6 addresses and all those stuff that is uh, and then you need to activate that particular neighbor that's normal while you we assign any of uh, the address any of the thing like any of the neighbor in under address family we activate that particular thing so uh, apart from that root modification is done on the on the basis of on the basis of the concept which is similar to ipv4 concept router rd has i told you that it is of uh, 32 bit which we need to assign with the bgp router id command in, in MPBGP as well, I mean, under routing process. Uh, now, all the things like uh, root maps, prefix list, distribute list, these concepts are similar to the concept of IPv4 uh, concept. Somewhat commands are different as you can, you can need to, you can assign the sequencing in IPv6, um, IPv6 prefix list as well. The commands are uh, there you need to start with IP prefix list some these keywords are there but here you need to start with IPv6 prefix list these, these are some dissimilarities but but the, you can say that there are various similarities once you know IPv4 you can configure IPv6 on, on a router it's very easy uh, let me talk about tunnels which is very important nowadays while you are configuring IPv6 on any environment there are different types of tunnel like uh, general tunnel normal IPv6 tunnels uh, 6 to 4 tunnels ISAT AP tunnels normal tunnels we generally we use an uh, tunnel interface uh, source destination similar to that and, and the tunnel is up there are some special configuration needed like uh, you need to assign a, a static route I mean a default static default route uh, pointing towards that particular tunnel so these are some some similarities I mean these are some things that you need to take care of apart from that 6 to 4 automatic 6 to 4 tunnels uh, let's say uh, you have five environments you have five sites which is connected with your ISP which is of IPv4 environment right which is of IPv4 now what you need to do is you need to use 5 in multiplied by 5 minus 1 divided by 2 that is 10 different tunnel interfaces you need to use but in case of automatic 6 to uh, 4 tunnels you do not need to use so many tunnel interfaces that's what that's the concept is uh, I mean uh, is you can use this concept you can see me uh, similarize this concept with the concept of root reflector that we use in, in, in BGP uh, the, the similar concept is there that you uh, for for avoiding multiple connections we use ref root reflector and, and all those stuff and uh, apart from that uh, ISAT AP tunnels this is also somewhat similar uh, concept to uh, to the different tunneling concepts here we modify that particular uh, interface identifier thing that is interface identifier means last 64 bit of ipv6 addresses and this is uh, uh, the thing about ipv6 if you want to know this in detail uh, this is very important actually i haven't uh, used uh, uh, expressed this de in detail because of short of the time but by the way uh, thank you very much for watching this video thanks for your help bye bye